All right, so you'll have a list, you'll have this in your thing, but I'll quickly uh, talk about these. I thought I'd have more time, but um, Audacity and Audition are two recording softwares. Uh, it's, they kind of allow you to record and edit at the same time. I prefer Audition because of the flexibility. Uh, it allows me to record, because I use a mixer, it allows me to record on two separate tracks so I can remove the silence, or I can remove the noise of one track without affecting the other. That's really important. SoundCloud and Libsyn is where you host your uh, MP3 files, so you can actually host it on your website. Um, that's, Libsyn is really powerful. What Cass was talking about earlier in terms of uh, demographics, Libsyn does that for you, so if you host it on Libsyn, it'll give you all your demographics and listenership and all those figures and numbers. Uh, GarageBand, I've never used it, but I know that if you didn't want to pay money, uh, you could get that. It comes with every Macintosh. Uh, Ecamm Call Recorder and Pamela. So Ecamm Call, call Recorder is... Awesome. <laughs> it is really great. Yeah, I, I use that as my backup. So I always have that running in case it doesn't record on o Audition for me. Uh, so that's for a Mac. The PC version is Pamela. Uh, yeah, so the PC version of Ecamm is Pamela. Which is not that great. I, I don't know, I haven't used it, but uh, it, it does... Split it up. Like Ecamm so you can order like split, split it up right? into different tracks, like what you were talking about. Mm. So if I clear my throat while someone else is talking, mm. I can just edit it out in Audacity. But um, Pamela won't do that. Yeah, right. Um, I, I skipped through that whole process, so I don't actually use it. Simple Podcast Press, uh, I just want to run through this because of the time, but Simple Podcast Press, um, it, it really allows you to share your content when you do have a podcast. We look it up, it allows you to create really nice smart links as well. It's worth the investment, I want to say it's $29, like as a one-off fee, but uh, it's, a, it's a WordPress plugin. Smart Podcast Player is Pat's. Pat Flynn's, um, so good. yeah, it, it, is, it is pretty good. I don't have one myself, but, um, and Pat's not paying me money for this, but uh, Pat, whenever you get a chance to listen to this, uh, <laughs> my affiliate uh, bank account is headed your way. Um, <laughs> Schedule Once is really cool. If you guys don't have Schedule Once, you should check it out. Every single person here will use Schedule Once and should use Schedule Once. It allows you to create, give someone a link and, and, and book in a time and a, ca and a, and a place, so um, like a, like a <laughs> assistant. I, I, use, I use Calendly. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, right. Um, so schedule once, I use schedule once for everything. Uh, squeak pipe. Uh, this is another way to interact with the audience. When you get into engagement, you want them to interact back with you. It's like leaving a voicemail on your website. So. Uh, I think there's speak pipe as well, which yeah. is similar. Uh, Blueberry PowerPress, it is probably one of the best WordPress plugins out there, which every single person should have on their blog website if they're gonna have a podcast. It allows you to take a blog post and create an MP3 link from it and send and automatically syndicate that to iTunes. It is free, so you don't have to pay for it. Pretty links, um, you can use the free use the free version, it's pretty good. It'll allow you to take a long ass link. Did I say ass? I said ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, and make it really small. So for example, I have broadcastyourmessage.com. If I have a long uh, YouTube link, for example, with lots of weird letters in it, I can go um, broadcastyourmessage.com slash uh, TLC and it'll be um, directed directly there, and it's free as well, so you can get it for free. Uh, Buffer and Hootsuite, very, very important for managing your social media. Uh, very easy, and you can use both free versions uh, until you get popular and get enough. I, in fact, right now I'm still on Buffer's free version. I do have the paid version for Hootsuite just because I've got a lot of pages and stuff like that now. Um, Canva is really cool. You can create templates within that and just have your assistants put the pictures in there and fill in everything. So once you create the template, they can just do everything from a picture standpoint. So if you have to create images for your blogs or your podcasts or whatever else you do, you create one template, 
and then you can get a whole bunch of other people to sort of you know, do it for you. Um, ID3 ed editor, that's, uh, that's the tag editor that I use. Again, I want to say it's like 12 or something dollars. Uh, and it allows me to immediately create a whole bunch of uh, tagging for the MP3, which allows it, if someone downloads it, all my information or information about the audio file will actually be on the file, which you really need. Yeah. And A text, I love A text. A text saves me so much time. Um, <clears throat> I can type a whole email by typing three letters. So it takes uh, a templated email or whatever it is um, and you can reduce that to a shortcut. So if I'm inviting, I don't do this anymore, but when I used to invite people onto my podcast, I would go, dear uh, Cass, uh, LTD, and it would populate the whole email. Yours. <laughs> Yours. Oh yeah, I use the, uh, I use the one by Smile Software. The, uh, yeah, the is that one of theirs too? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like text expander. Yeah, that's the one I use. Yeah, yeah. This is this is, this is a text. I like changed my life. Yeah. Right. That's mm -hmm. cool. Um, so I want to really go through this quickly uh, because of different. So if you will go to broadcastingmessage.com slash checklist, you can download the whole checklist. It's a forty-five item checklist of you creating your own podcast. Um, you'll also go into, I want to say Jennifer has created some sort of e-course at the back end of that uh, with uh, emails and stuff like that. Um, I think it's on this one, but um, yeah, that's where you can get that checklist. But this is my idea of where people are at in, and, 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 and determine where you're at in your uh, business. Startup, survival, stability, scale, success, star, and, and, and everyone in these spaces, there is a space for you to get involved in podcasting. It just depends on how, how involved you get and who you give your stuff to. So if you're in startup and survival mode, you're in the hunt phase. You're kind of just you know, creating a foundation based on an idea you have and you're breaking even, and, but things get re real really quickly, so you kind of, you know, in that phase where it's really important to pay attention to the things around you. Um, definitely, I started a podcast in startup mode uh, and survival mode, so I know that it works. However, if people are in the stability, the scale mode, that's when you start going, all right, I have, I've, I'm just past, I'm in the build stage. It's really important that I get onto new platforms that are going to create the waves and I want to ride the wave when I should be riding the wave rather than when it becomes mainstream. Um, but stability and scale in, that, in those phases, you want to get a team on board. And when I say a team, it doesn't have to be a whole team. It can be one person to help you. You don't want to go around in circles to create a podcast and, and then you know, find out the hard way that certain things don't work. You want to get someone on board that will help you achieve that. And then you have the success to star. And, and again, that in that realm, you want to place yourself right now as the KPI or key person of influence. Because I, I think that, that it's kind of really important for people that are in that phase to sort of really position themselves right now. Um, and there are some pretty cool people doing that, like. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk is doing that really well. Mm -hmm. Pat Flynn's doing that really well. Tim Ferriss obviously is doing that really well. Um, and it depends on where you're at in this. Um, right now, I had, when I initially started broadcasting a message, I had built programs for people in the stability to scale model and the success to start. So right now I have, you know, Glenn Carlson, David Dugan, uh, Andrew Griffiths, all of them in the star success realm, they are building their own podcast through my program and they're up there. So I've started, I started up there and I kind of went down and then I have a few people that are developing their own podcast in the scale and stability um, that uh, are doing some really cool stuff. Uh, I don't know whether you know, uh, there's a, a lady by the name of uh, Melissa Telesik and she is a customer, she's just starting a customer centric podcast. So she went through my thing. Um, 
so that she could develop a podcast for her brand, which is uh, on loyalty. Um, Petra Jones as well, she's coming up with the Mompreneur Show, which is um, also in that stability and scale sort of. Now in startup and survival, I realized that a lot of people were like me and couldn't afford the top end scales. So I'm right now creating a membership model for the people in there so that they can actually get the framework and you know they don't sort of pay a lot of money. They don't pay money. I, I think it's like, I want to say I want to start it off at uh, $9 a week or something like that. But it's not only for podcasting, it'll be for marketing and things um, in that realm. Uh, but those are the, the different stages. Now again, I want, I want you guys to think about what I started with, with the idea of podcasting or idea of the auditory sense. It doesn't matter what the big movements have been on the planet. It doesn't matter whether uh, it's how it's changed the way we've seen things. It, um, from you know, uh, the idea that uh, we should all be equal um, as, as a gender. And it's, it's surprising that it's taken us so long to come to this point where it has, you know, it, it has sort of, it's become like a second nature now. And we're like, yeah, well, what do you mean? Of course it was supposed to be equal. But at some stage, you know, um, and we're still having people like Emma Watson going out there, yeah, and, and giving speeches that have changed, like a lot of, a lot has happened since this speech. A lot has happened since this speech and this didn't happen long ago. So the power of speech and where, <laughs> what speech can do and, and we're, we're fighting so many different battles right now um, and they all come down to these one-liners, these speeches that people give and they move a whole bunch of people and get them to think differently because people are scared of change. They're scared of change. And we all have a responsibility uh, because right now, we don't have this issue anymore where we have to have all that kind of money to be heard. We don't have this issue anymore. We have all this technology with us right now that we can actually make a difference. And even if it is one person at a time, there is no excuse really to start with you know, the passions that are most I suppose, um, inside each and every one of us. And um, as always, I want to end with this. Recording. Welcome. First, First hearing aid. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> This is the, the big moment, moment here. Moment. She's gonna hear something. We don't really know what. We're almost on it, pushing it just a little bit. There you go. I'm creeping. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> you said you hear it. <laughs> hey, I sound. You're <laughs> hearing yourself better. Okay, you can cry. It's okay. Hi, Cooper. <gasps> Hi, Cooper. <laughs> Hi, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I know I look like an elderly munchkin, but do I sound like one now? <laughs> 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 Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Black. Black. Oh, purple. Purple. 
<laughs> what do you think? It's <laughs> What is it like? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> So different. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so clear or does it sound muffled? It sounds clear. I'm so happy for you, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>